What's up everybody? Welcome back to Philly Cheese Gaming. My name is Philip, but you can call me Philly Cheese. Today we're going to take a look at the first Fallout 4 DLC, Automatron. In a nutshell, I loved it, but let's get into some of the details. As far as the quest line, it's pretty interesting. It uses the age-old Bethesda intro of a new radio signal that you unlock once you meet the level requirement and have the content downloaded. And that's pretty much how they always do new DLCs, so I was hoping for something a little fresh, but it works, so, you know, what can you do? You're going to meet a character named Ada uh, pretty much right off the bat. She's kind of the driving force behind this quest, and she's pretty interesting, has some interesting dialogue and personality, but only with regards to the main quest. Once you finish the main quest, she doesn't really have a lot to say. And actually, if you use the talk option with her, she just gives you some junk items, not conversation. You're also going to come across a new raider faction in the Commonwealth known as the Rust Devils. They're pretty awesome. I'm probably going to do a Rust Devil build soon. They have a pretty cool look, and they have this, uh, this neat method of breaking down robots and people and sort of combining them together. They have really cool like skull parts on their robots, and it's all pretty, pretty intimidating looking. I'm definitely going to play around with that some in the future. Uh, the enemy robots are pretty awesome too. They're going to show you a lot of the variety that you can later achieve with the crafting system, but we're going to get into that in a minute. Uh, these enemy robots will attack your settlements, which is pretty neat. Uh, they're not restricted to just the main story quests. And once you complete the main story quests, there's going to be radiant quests to continue hunting down these robots. So you'll get a lot of continued play out of it. There's a lot of variety in the robots, and some of them are quite challenging. Uh, I found the boss fights to actually be harder than anything I came across in the main game. Now, as for the mechanists uh, themselves, the identity of the mechanist was kind of a letdown for me. Um, there's a lot of speculation on the internet as to who this is, and uh, a lot of people have been spoiling it already, and I'm not going to do that, but uh, let's just say I was a little let down with who it was. It's not who I thought it was going to be. Uh, but it is an interesting character and they do give you a choice in how to handle the situation which is pretty cool that was a lot of the criticism of Fallout 4 itself was that they don't really give you a lot of choice uh, you know in some of these situations uh, so it's good to know that Bethesda was listening and you know took that into account with the DLC much cooler than the mechanist themselves is the mechanist layer which uh, has tons of cool loot there's cool traps, some cool doors. Um, my MacGyver character had a field day in there picking up all this crafting loot. There's also some cool new weapons and armor with this DLC, like the Mr. Handy Saw and the Assaultron Head. There's a Tesla rifle and uh, robot armor and some special power armor pieces that are pretty cool too. Now onto the real meat of the DLC, which for me is the robot crafting system. Uh, and this is awesome. This would have been worth the price of admission alone, I think. The quests are really there to just kind of introduce this and show you some of the possibilities and give you some pacing and unlocking all the different uh, components. But uh, there's so many options to build with, um, and this whole system totally makes sense in Fallout 4. You know, there's this big emphasis on repurposing junk to make useful stuff, so being able to do that with robots is just the next logical step. And, and you have so many options. There's so many variety of mods. You can deck these things out for combat. You can make them fast. Uh, you can make them like a tank. You can make them a fast tank. Um, you can set them up for ranged damage. You can set them up for close range damage, melee. Uh, I mean, you can make them scary looking. You can make them look very utilitarian. All different color paint jobs. Uh, you can set them up for non-combat and use... Uh, you know, set them up for carry capacity and they can carry a ton. You can basically make yourself a pack mule that's got laser guns. Uh, you can make some really powerful companions and then sit back and watch them clean house with some of these combat mods. As you finish the main quest, you're also going to unlock some new settlement options like the wall mounted spotlight and the iBot station. And these are really cool. The, the spotlights are pretty neat, and the iBot station will actually send out iBots to look for junk for you. It doesn't actually retrieve it, but it tells you where it is and gives you a marker, and then you, you have to go get it. Uh, but it's pretty cool. Now, I wish I could build an iBot companion like ED from New Vegas, but, you know, what can you do? So overall, I think the DLC was a lot of fun. Uh, I think it adds a lot to the game through the robot crafting and all the added armor and weapons. Uh, it's totally worth the $10, or in my case, it's worth the inclusion in the Season Pass. 
we weren't expecting a whole lot from this DLC just because of the way they were announced. We're pretty sure it's going to be filler, filler, big content. And if this was filler, then I can't wait for the big content. So there you have it, guys. In a nutshell, if you haven't checked out the Automatron DLC yet, it's definitely worth your time. I want to see in the comments below what you guys think of the DLC. Did you think it was worth it? Was it everything you were expecting? Was it a letdown? Was it more than you were expecting? That was kind of my opinion of it. Also, uh, I'm thinking about doing some robot builds, so if you guys have any ideas for cool robots to build, let me know. Also, I want to say a quick thank you to everyone who's subscribed and given me comments and likes so far. Uh, this has been a lot of fun, and I'm, I'm really enjoying the channel growing, and it's all thanks to you guys. So, I uh, appreciate it. Keep it up. Tell your friends. Be sure to like and subscribe so everybody knows that you were into Philly Cheese Gaming before it was popular. This is Philip signing off. Pleasure to see you again, ma'am. Are you ready to depart? Time to hit the road. Wonderful. I look forward to traveling with you.